Okay, in a previous video on this same Scrub Cadet snowblower, I showed you how to replace the points condenser. Now, if you don't want to go through all that, removing the starter clutch and popping the flywheel and all that, there is an alternative way to get spark out of this, and that's to put an electronic ignition coil on it, and that's real easy and simple. Hey, I got me a friend, Mr. Mr. Mothman. <laughs> There's the Mothman. All right, anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how to put that coil on there real simple like. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Take off this cover. Take two screws that hold the coil on. Take them off. You ain't got to mess with the flywheel or the starter clutch, special tools. A pair of wire cutters. Pull the wire up, pull the coil off. You got two wires going back behind here. Snip them off. You don't need them. Cut them off, coils off. Now, this is a used one, but it's a good coil. You can get a used one if you have a place to get a used one, or go to the parts store and get a new one. You can tell the new one because it's got, this is all molded in. This is, this is taking the, the place of the points condenser. See on the old one, the old one don't have that. See, it's open here. This is the new one. This is the little pickup point that when the flywheel goes by, it tells it when the sparky spark. Now, these coils say on there, cylinder side, this side faces out. If you put this thing on backwards, it ain't gonna spark. So you gotta make sure you pay attention. This is the way it goes on, right here. With the ground, this is the ground wire right there. That little tab, the only thing that's for is the kill wire. So you can run a wire from there to a switch, an on-off switch, whatever you want to do. That's the only wire. That, you, you, take, you take a little piece of wire and go from here to here, it's going to kill the motor. You want to test this coil, you just pull that off, and that's how you test it. If it don't spark, it's bad. If it sparks, then your kill wire is, is grounded somewhere. And then all you do, take your old screws. Bolt the coil on. Pull up on it. Snug it. And then you want to create the air gap that goes between the magnets. Here's the magnet, see? See, that's sticking to it. So you get a 10,000 feeler gauge. If you don't have 10,000 feeler gauge, you can use a business card. Line up the magnets with the coil. Put the business card in there. Loosen the screws. Bam! It sucks it tight against it. Tighten it down. Spin it. Get that card out of there. Now you got your air gap. Now it's ready to arc your spark. Put the cover back on. Now I didn't hook up a kill wire, but I will. Put the bolts in. All right, I got the spark tester all hooked up, ready to go, show you it's gonna spark. Now you can leave them points underneath that flywheel. They ain't gonna hurt nothing being down there. They're just dead. They're just down there dead. You don't need them no more. All right, get the camera on here. See, sparky spark. Sparky spark in the funky bunch. There we go. Watch, I'm gonna stick that on there. I'm gonna give a little shot, a little shot of juice there. Okay. See, there you go. There's your dinner.